Hey there everyone, I'm back with another pickup video. Um, I hope the noise in the background, I got the AC going, so I hope that doesn't bother anybody. But I got a lot of pickups here. I actually have a package from someone, a fellow YouTuber. I purchased some things from them. And also some 32X love. Where does the 32X fit? But here we go. I'll start with my favorite. Let me start with the package. I got this from Classic Contagious Gaming. Um, he had a for sale video, and uh, he he had these. Uh, I there was quite a few things I was interested in, but um, only two things I got because uh, the other other people picked them up. But for I got these ten Atari games or eight Atari games for ten dollars, and two of them I have, but the the rest of them, they were all new. So I got Jungle Hunt. I've been wanting this game. Jungle Hunt. Um, Kung Fu Master, which this is one of the rarer titles um, for the Atari. It's worth about five bucks. If that's rare, um, that is rare for Atari. Most of them are just worth a dollar. There's some shaking going in there, but I'm sure it'll work. Um, Sword Quest Fire World. I already have Earth World. Uh, I just need Water World now. And then uh, Donkey Kong. I'm not. I, this one I may have. I'm not sure. Oh, it's got a little. Spike from the Gremlins on the back, if you can see that a little sticker that's all faded and peeled. That's pretty cool. This one I'm excited to get. Dig Dug, love Dig Dug. Freeway to a Frogger ripoff. Pretty sure Freeway. This one I already had. Vanguard. This is actually a cleaner copy than mine. And then combat I already have. Everyone has combat. You can't get rid of them. But I love this game with two players. Uh, which I had two, someone to play with. So combat. And the one I'm most excited about. Alien. Alien. Um, this one's a slightly worth a little bit more. And I also picked up for him. He packaged it uh, very good by the way. He didn't have a note in there. Otherwise I'd read it. It's uh, for $8 I think it was. Um, it's a favorites collection, but it's Final Fantasy 2. On the, uh, trying to get the webcam here to focus. Final Fantasy 2 on the PSP. And I can't find my PSP charger. What the heck, I wanted to play last night. It was completely dead. And I can't find it. I don't know where it is. So, now I'll be hunting for that today. Alright, let me go to, move on to my favorite retailer here. Let's start with this. I got Doom 3, the BFG edition, um, for, let's see if we can get that to book today, well, $15. Um, Doom Wave said this is the better version to pick up, that I was going to get it on a PS3, but he said he liked this one better, and he's the Doom Master, so I figured I would let him be the ultimate say on that, so I'm glad to have this. He said it's better online when you play online. I don't know if I'll ever play online, but I'm glad to have Doom 3. Then for 3 bucks, I picked up NBA Action 98. Kobe Bright, case is in nice condition. I mean, I can't believe I used to love these sports games. I mean, the, the, the characters, oh my gosh, they look like block figures. But, the $2.99. And these two I picked up, I basically just picked them up for the cases. I already have one of them. The other one I did not have, so I might... I actually might still switch out cases and give it a crappier case because it's just a sports game. But uh, it's ESPN Baseball Tonight on the Sega CD. I mean, this case is in mint condition. This is the one I did already have. So I might, I'm going to swap this case out. Um, just probably get rid of the disc, take it back, and get 50 cents. Um, and then uh, National Hockey Night. ESPN National Hockey Night. These are both in great condition. I'm going to have to give this one a go. I love hockey games, usually. Uh, so I'm going to have to give this one a try. Still continuing on with the favorite, my favorite retailer. Um, like I said, it's because I have the card there. I get them buy, buy four, get one free. So I ended up buying eight and got two free. So add on to my Sega collection. Goofy's Historical History Tour there on the Genesis. It, this one's not complete, unfortunately, but for two bucks, I'll take it. 
Then I got Pack Attack for $4. This one is in very nice condition. $4 and this one is complete. And I don't know why I picked this up. Um, for $2 I picked up Monster, Master of the Monsters on uh, DS. Uh, the Atlas title you see there. Um, I, probably not one of the better titles, that's why it's only going for $2, but it's Atlas and I'll take it. For 7 bucks, I picked up Super Off-Road on the Super Nintendo. I actually picked up a Super Nintendo game, it's rare. Um, but I love the Off-Road series and this is the one I wanted to add to it. Um, Super Off-Road on Super Nintendo. And then these two, um, these are like mint condition. Um, this one I don't think has the manual though, but the case is in mint condition, that's okay. Wing Commander 4 on the PS1. I actually love this game, I've had it before. Um, the voice acting and Malcolm McDowell and Mark Hamill and Luke Skywalker there, they do a great job. I love this game. This, this is when FMV was done right. Let's get back to equal justice. And then uh, for 10 bucks, this is also in mint condition case. Um, yeah, he even has a demo disc in here. 1998 Collector CD Volume 1. Um, Parasite Eve in mint condition. I am so happy to have this. Uh, for 10 bucks, I will take it. I, it's worth it. Not so too much more. It's maybe worth 20. 25. I didn't look it up, but I know it's worth a little more than 10 bucks. But I'm just glad to have it in nice condition. Very nice condition. Okay, two more things to show you here. I went to the other retailer, the guy that wants to be eBay Jr., and uh, Crack Lotus told me I should pick this game up. I thought it was 13 bucks, it was actually 26.99. And I picked it up. I think I got hosed, but I'm glad to have it anyway because it's not complete. It's in an old GameStop box with no manual. You know, the games stop display boxes. But um, I'm glad to have it nonetheless because I hear it's a great game. It's Killer7 on the GameCube. Yeah, this is not what the uh, box looks like. It does have screenshots on the back. But... This guy, I, I think I'm going to stop going to him. I just go to him because he has an Atari Jaguar box. I keep trying to talk him out of it. I'll keep frequenting the store every once in a while, see if I can get it off him. For, he said, well, maybe I'll let it go for 150 I said, you're crazy, bud. I said, I'll give you 50 bucks for it. That's all I'm going to give you for an empty box. Uh, he won't go for it, but if I keep play, going in there and not buying anything because his prices are too high, he might get desperate enough and sell it to me. So I'm going to keep going in there. And the last thing is I get some 32X Love. Now this game I got for it's almost 50 bucks um, with shipping. It's $42.25 and it's like $2.39 shipping, so $45. And it's Dark Side. It's an extremely rare um, 32X game. It's a PAL release only. This is not a PAL release. This is a homebrew. Uh, they they uh, made it in NTSC format and all the languages so it's not the actual dark side i wish it was because the dark side is like probably the second most rare game in complete condition behind spider-man web of web of foes or web of fire yeah that's the most rare one but there's it's two or three if you find it in complete condition but that's fine i will take a homebrew i will take a homebrew in american brand new you know guy made it himself um, I did research on the guy, he sells them like every once in a while, um, puts them up for auction, and uh, he has a 100% rating, so I know at least these people are happy with their copy. So I will take Dark Side um, for $42, $45 um, homebrew any day. So that's it guys, oh, no beer review today, it's in the morning, so good morning everybody, coffee. That's all. I hope you guys like my new webcam. Um, I'm finally not filming on my phone. I think it looks a lot better, a lot crisper. I gotta practice on looking into the eye. But again, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.